哎妈，我回来了，啊，你对我的希望是安怎看？Over the last 40 years, I've been back in prison 10 times. It's purely my addiction that uh, continue to bring me back to prison. And if I tell you I want to change, will you believe me? The difference uh, of waking up in prison and at home is that uh, it's uh, always very comfortable here. But uh, it takes a while to sort of adjust to sofa bed and the aircon. Here's a monitor. I'm still on MAS. So this is the GPS tracker that I have to be very careful and that I make sure that all the time is properly charged. Okay, got to change and prepare myself for work. Huh? It's okay now. One of the uh, pleasure that I have at home is hugging my mom when I go out. All these little actions of hugging makes a difference. Uh. They have been a long time, you know, you have not uh, seen them. Bye, Ma. Morning. I'm so surprised. Uh. Every time I walk into MRT, such big crowds, very scary. I like this lone path, so they can just observe what's going around, settle your mind. And you have got a positive structure. You tend to filter out what's not important. And my focus is just on my family, my mother, my work. I heard about Pauline from my sister. She was watching that CNN Insider. Immediately she called me. Hey, call maybe you might need people. You take a look at this video clip. At times when I'm free, I do some origami. I give them names, happy, 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 so they are very happy. Some thoughts linger in my mind. Hey, whether this could be a stage or not. This guy was well dressed, so presentable. So the next day, we rode into uh, prison services. That's how we started ball rolling. Uh. It's always very positive. I always think that giving them a chance, like, the second chance or maybe a third chance. If we don't start the ball rolling, nobody would, you know. When I've started, I was treated very well. They are quite informed that uh, I'm an uh, ex and I'm uh, of age. Mario told us he a yellow ribbon. Person. Sometimes things are heavy, they are very forthcoming with assistance. never back off,
Oh man, take a seat. What's your work here? Okay. okay. Good, comfortable and happy. Yeah. So moving forward, we actually plan so called additional scope. So that means whatever machine that comes book in for repair. Hmm. So you are solely take care. Okay. You take care of everything. So I'm very happy that additional scope and you know new responsibilities I need that kind of uh, structure to, to keep me Focus. Apart from this, your current package will add another $200 inside. Appreciate that. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. Thank Thanks. you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. 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 This is the camera we installed three months ago when she suddenly faint. Check on her, make sure that she's okay. Hmm, Ma. Now it's just me. Hey, you know what? I just want to hold out. Hey, boy, Mom uh, is very uh, loving. Having my cough, she has been brewing uh, Chinese medicine for me, which, which is very tedious. It comes with so many instructions, even I'm lost. So she went back to the shop and actually asked how to really process this. Okay. 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 Bye-bye. When she um, told me that uh, she called the authorities to come and arrest me, I was uh, not very happy. La. Even though I'm sad, uh, I, there is always this love for her that uh, you have to take care of yourself and and I won't be around for a long time. Mayo 我都跟他讲，这是最后的机会，靠你自己啊！我只希望他叫了啊，他会做一个好人，好好的过他的下半辈子。I find it very difficult to start a conversation with someone there. And then, uh, you know, it's yeah. very, uh, like you say, like, yeah. personal. And they're new to you, and uh, you are new to them. May not be so easy. Uh, there are a few things that you need to anchor your life on. Most important anchor that I can see in your case, especially, is the relationship your mother has with you. She only has the best things to say about you, know, about all your strong points and why she, she loves you. Whenever you think of doing something off track, think yeah. of the kind of emotional pain you will cause to your mother. Sure, sure. Today, uh, my me time, sort of uh, like a reward to myself for ending well another week of work. Today, just enjoy yourself, go shopping, buy something for myself. Shirt cut. Why decline? Next, flash.
black truffle burger, single. Just now I tried to order something from the... I'm not used to it and then I don't know why payment down there cannot. Maybe I press the wrong button. Ah, ma. Bye bye. Testing to the mall is just something different. I prefer to be in a quiet place, you know. And sometimes when the court comes or the saleswoman comes, it's a bit out of place. Uh. Uh, 55, 90. Still old school, uh, pay cash, huh? I'm on my way to Tangling Police Station for my urine test reporting. I remember quite some time back uh, where I fall back into drugs because of this uh, urine test reporting. I met my friend there. I learned from my mistakes and uh, from there, you know, handle my issue now more wisely. This is something which uh, nobody has the right solution. So how was your urine test? Oh, the urine test uh, went well. Went well. Uh, just happened to bump into my friend. I waited for him to leave after that. It's best to just uh, keep it sweet and short. Just in case, you know, this conversation carry you to another parameters. Oh, I'm meeting Dennis. He has been my friend for almost 20 years. Sometimes I bump into him in prison, which is sad, but uh, now I believe it's a new chapter altogether. See whether we can continue to encourage each other in this road to, uh, to recovery. Hey, bro, what's happening? Hi, hi. How's things? How are yeah. you? Yours is actually what? Six months? Yours uh, as a recovering addict. Uh, we, we actually need a lot of uh, support. Constructive friends do actually play a very important part in our reputation. Uh. Addiction is something mental, psychological, and then it's also physical. It's never easy to really cut away uh, the many years like uh, of habit. Uh. We, we, we don't be a Gelang because we have a lot of drug addicts. Uh. We also have to be careful of the triggers that we will encounter. Uh. When he's feeling stressed or I'm feeling stressed, we will have this kind of trigger that but I got somebody that I can actually call and get a stuff. Small little power, you will save, save what? Save a lot. <laughs> it's actually How like, do you think he will fall back? I believe uh, and I trust that uh, this time around it could be a, it could be a, a breakthrough for him. And he's actually quite, he feels quite bad when uh, this time around when he came out, the sun is not there. I mean, they actually, basically they actually lost contact for many years. Even he's out, I know that he's struggling. He actually needs a closer. Uh. Take care, uh, right? I have two sons, 26 and 28. The last time I saw them was 2010. Whilst in incarceration, I did receive my son's letter. That was the only letter that I received over 12 years. It says that uh, I would like to talk about my feelings on this matter. All along, I think that the absence of a father figure has affected me to a certain extent. 
be it small or big, it has shaped me into who I am right now. This is one of the things in my life that makes me depressed at times. I thought that I could get over it, but up till now, I haven't. And I'm extremely tired because of this. Daily, I'm affected by this, be it directly or indirectly, and I do not know how to solve this. I don't know how to get over it. When I have dreams, I only see them when you're a little boy. You know, and now they have grown so tall, I only remember them as they are when they are very young. If my children are watching this right now, I would like to just say, get in touch with Dad, because get Dad has uh, determined to change. More importantly, to just talk to you, apologize, seek your forgiveness, so that in my dying bed, there won't be any regrets. Do you know why they don't really want something? To say that I actually know how they feel uh, would not be possible. But I know how I feel about them and what I should do, and that's more important. Without the job and my boss Mark himself, all this won't be possible. My plan for Pauline for the next two months, probably he has to travel quite frequently la, because we are expanding our business in Philippines, Indonesia and Malaysia. My staff actually emailed to get a special permit for him to make his passport. During his trip, I did preempt my, my colleague to constantly remind him, avoid alcohol and drugs, that's it, finish. Prison side also helping us by removing the tagging. La. Pauline's employer requested for us to cut the tag so that he can attend a training course in KL. Exceptions can be made on a discretionary basis by the ROs. Ready ah? One, two, three. Done. All the best to you. For Pauline's case, he's uh, observed to be intrinsically motivated to stay crime free and also having a stable employment. This is one of the reasons why he was being allowed to go for this training course to enhance his employability, you know, increase his chances of reintegrating back into society more seamlessly. On a scale of 1 to 10 of staying clean, I would give myself 8. I'm adding a lot of new activities into my life, new positive structure that I can move on from 8 to maybe eight and a half, and eventually I get to nine. It's going to be a new chapter. I need to put in a lot of effort, and from there I hope to bear some fruit out of it. Oh, well, the last time that I flew was something like 30 years ago, if I'm correct. I didn't know that uh, you know, so much have uh, progressed and a lot of those machines out there looks very alien to me. So I'm going to try to uh, absorb uh, as much as possible so that uh, I won't look strange in front of anybody. Yeah, I'm doing some shots to remember this day. It's a special day. See you next time, very soon. Catch us on YouTube. Please fasten your seat belts, put your seat belt right and secure your tray table.
is my brother. We're going out for some what you call during session. Anyway, I haven't been, haven't been seeing him for almost five over years. So this reunion is going to be very meaningful. Alright, see you guys.